slowly wake up and it comes up quite a lot. So several things I just want to point out about slow weight gain. Um, number one, slow weight gain is different to no weight gain. Um, so that's really vitally important that you first of all clarify where, what, exactly what the situation is. Um, no weight gain of course needs close monitoring with your baby's doctor uh, and if you're wanting to continue breastfeeding then you might find you need to get some help from an IBCLC, a board certified lactation consultant to help guide you on that journey and, and you may need to supplement and supplementation is totally fine um, and uh, so get some help in person if you do have real weight issues where baby is not gaining weight and you need help. Don't do it on your own, get help and support. Um, but if you have slow weight gain, often a doctor can jump immediately to telling you to supplement with formula. Um, and so just to say that that is of course one option and you should definitely discuss this clearly with your baby's doctor. But um, other things to consider when taking on uh, that challenge is if you want to breastfeed, um, you can, uh, and, and perhaps you have a, a, a latch issue, then you can pump and supplement with pumped breast milk. Um, it's important, like I said, to note that slow weight gain uh, isn't necessarily uh, a bad thing. Have they slumped on their percentile? Um, if they have, then again, this needs looking at with your doctor and, and please follow their advice. But if they haven't dropped down on a percentile and they've just slowed, there's some things to note. Number one, from about four months, a breastfed baby's growth dramatically slows in comparison to a formula fed baby. So that is something to uh, remember, that if your baby suddenly stops gaining weight as quickly from four months, that is completely normal. Um, also, uh, there are things you can do if you are experiencing weight gain. Feed more often. Have you been feeding on a schedule? If you have, please stop. Please feed more frequently. Making sure your baby has got a good latch. If their latch isn't great, they're not going to effectively feed from the breast and they could be missing out some calories. Have you recently cut out night feeds? Um, perhaps you need to pop them back in because the best way to increase weight is to gain more calories and the best way to get more calories is to get more milk in. Um, and getting more milk into the body will, will help. Now, the, one of the fattiest foods, if they're around solid food age, but one of the fattiest foods that you can give your child is breast milk. So uh, if you've introduced solids, you could also, um, you could also add it to porridge, uh, mash it up with some other vegetables, uh, make lollipops out of it. Any other ways to get extra little feeds in would also help them to gain extra weight. Um, so those are some things you can do if your baby has poor weight gain um, or slow weight gain. <laughs> um, and if they do have slow weight gain, but they haven't plummeted on a, on a percentile, um, it's often good to speak to the doctor as well and look at, is their head circumference still growing? Is their body length still growing? Are they meeting other milestones? Weight is one indicator, one indicator of how well your breastfeeding journey is going. Um, and, and if your child is growing, healthy, happy, energetic, sitting up when they should, walking when they should, then, and they're not plummeting in weight, they're just perhaps stalling a bit or, or slowed down, then I would question whether you actually need to do anything at all. But that can be something you can talk to your doctor about, just to remember that weight is one, one aspect uh, and not the whole picture of your baby's development.